uh, I went to kindergarten in the old library that was here in the middle of town. And at that time, Dad, Grand Ingersoll, was the postmaster. And all the kindergarten children used to wait in the post office for Sister Tracy to come, Mrs. Tracy to come get us and take us across Main Street to school. But then I started first grade here uh, with Mrs. Dunyon. And then I'm not sure about my second grade, grade teacher, I think it was Parker. And then uh, my third grade teacher was Mrs. Hunsaker. My fourth grade teacher was Mrs. Edwards. And I'm not sure about my fifth grade teacher. And my sixth grade teacher was Cecil Hansen. And it was his first year of teaching and we thought he was wonderful. <laughs> he was. <laughs> I always loved school. And I remember uh, the year we learned all the counties in Utah and the county seats and fractions. And it was all just really, it was a, a a, an adventure for me and I love to read. Summertime was the time I read. I'd go to the public library and get five books every week and come home and read. And I think it was Mrs. Edwards that really taught me to love books. But uh, Harrington was a fun place to be. When I was in the fifth and sixth grade they had an orchestra and my friend and I both played the piano so we got to play the marimba. And I remember we went two or three places to give little concerts. One was at the high school and one was at a PTA program. And so I learned to play the marimba too, but it was really fun. And uh, recess was always really fun at the Harrington. <laughs> but you could not walk on the grass and you always had to go outside, no matter whether it was snowing or not. And uh, we used the Harrington too after school because we just lived a block away. And so we would go home and get an apple and say hi to mom and dad and then come back and roller skate on the tennis court. We spent a lot of time here and it was great. And uh, it was really fun because across the street from the, the dance hall used to be an old railroad yard and we would collect different kinds of rocks that the trains would brought in and whoever had the biggest piece of whatever it was that looked like gold was the winner that day. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed school and I enjoyed the Harrington. And we had two or three principals and they were all very good and kind to us. But my teachers were wonderful. So that's what I became as a teacher. And uh, I've taught it in five different school districts and uh, enjoyed, it, enjoyed it all. So, And um, I still have, remember a lot of friends from here. And uh, it's getting discouraging because I think of them and they're gone. <laughs> but it was, uh, had a, a lot of different friends. And it was fun because the kids from Highland came to school here too. Alpine had their own uh, elementary school, but Highland came here on the bus and I can remember we were all excited to see the kids and meet the kids from Highland when they came because the train went through here all the time. At, and it's interesting, now there's a little small train that goes through here about noon. And if you see them, the engineers are out having lunch someplace over here or over here. But it, they always came, that train always came through and stopped about noon. And I was threatened with my life if I ever went between the cars or under the train. And I can remember, uh, I think it was about in the third grade and it stopped and it stayed for about an hour. And so I was still waiting to go home and get my lunch when the train pulled away and school started after lunch. 
But it was a real treat when we got to go get soup for once in a while. We got to go get soup for hot lunch. That was a real treat.